Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of mine. Today's video theme is I was thinking to myself I could do an autumn themed day in the life so that is the plan for today. I've currently got Walter sitting on my lap keeping me company and as well <laughs> you're wondering why my hair is kind of crazy today. Um, yeah <laughs> it's because I've washed it. It's a day off for me today from work and I've been to the gym this morning. I've been quite productive. It was hair wash day so I went with the natural look and here's, here's how it's turned out. It looks it looks big but um, I can't help it. It's my natural hair and I love it. So we're going to roll with that today. So this morning I popped into the supermarket after going to the gym to do a food shop for the week for me and Kyle and I've picked up a few ingredients to make carrot cake so I am going to take you along with me I'm going to show you how I do that I absolutely love baking fun fact during lockdown when everyone became a baker I became a baker I've always baked anyway but <laughs> I love baking so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna make a nice carrot cake Kyle's friend I think is due to come around tomorrow as well and they all love my baking so that will be good for them they can try some of that uh what else me and Walter are going to go on a nice autumn walk in a bit after lunch I think I'm gonna go to somewhere quite foresty so hopefully the leaves will be on the ground and it'll just be super cozy super nice and when we come back i'll do the baking so yeah that's the plan for today we'll just see how it goes see where the day takes us but those are the first port calls lunch as well i couldn't make my mind up what i was going to have for my lunch today when i'm not in work i prefer to have something that i can't do usually so like something i can make at home and we've got this new panini press and i'm bloody obsessed with it but I couldn't make my mind up what I wanted inside but I think I'm gonna go with a fish finger sandwich to be honest because it's that kind of weather isn't it it's that kind of weather where you just want some comfort food so that's the plan oh say hello oh say hello <laughs> he's a bit grumpy because he hasn't um he hasn't left the house yet so yeah I'm gonna unpack the shopping now I'm gonna uh make my lunch and then I'm gonna take you out with me for a lovely walk i was just unpacking my shopping and if you don't know this candle from home bargains gingerbread candle less than four pound you need to get one it's beautiful and it's good you know if you just want to light a candle in a room and you're not bothered about it like burning too much or like running out too fast then this is the one for you it like literally is so strong as well a fish finger sandwich <laughs> hello again I'm gonna stay snuggled up in my coat whilst I vlog 
I'm absolutely freezing. I feel like the temperature is just absolutely coveted. And uh, I was finding it hard to motivate myself to come out. And I was like, you know what? Go upstairs, stick your puffiest coat on that you've got, which is this one, it's like a duvet, and you'll be all right. And I'm glad that we're here now. I've, it's been a while since I've come to this park, and uh, it's worth it, it's so lovely. I was trying to show you. Got a beautiful building up there. Beautiful view over there. Water's having a good time. <laughs> he keeps wanting me to throw the ball, but I'm not. Because that's how he hurt his leg last time, and I feel like he's not 100% yet. So once he is, I'll, I'll start throwing it again, but I literally just roll it across, across the ground for him. So yeah. Lunch was nice. Fish finger sandwich was a good shout. And when I get back after this, I'm gonna... Ooh, my crazy hair. Um, I'm gonna start making my carrot cake so it's ready for when Kyle gets home and then we can have a cup of tea and a slice of cake. That would be nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> yet as the leaves on the trees are still green but it makes me really excited for mine and my sister's camping trip we have booked i can't remember if i said it on here or not but i was that eager to book another camping trip when we got back off our last one and i wanted to do it before the year was up and before it got too cold and so i booked us a campsite a pitch rather in sherwood forest and I was like thinking when I was walking, I was like, by the time we go there, which is in a couple of weeks, it's gonna be so nice. Like being in the forest with all the trees, like it's gonna be so golden and lovely. You should be able to get a lot of nice photos and have a lovely time, like a lovely weekend. So yeah, although like the trees are still green and there's like a few, a few golden leaves on the floor but not too many <laughs> see it feels like autumn anyway i feel like we will celebrate the seasons like a lot sooner than we should especially like the more the festive ones like people are so quick to get out like the autumn candles yeah so got that to look forward to in a couple of weeks camping in sherwood forest the campsite for those of you that care is brand new and it opened last year so the facilities look amazing and they've even got a heated doggy shower uh-huh a heated doggy shower so if the dog shower is good imagine what our showers are gonna be like so i can't wait
puppy. Oh, there he is in the bog. Hey! Don't go in there. Come on. That's dirty in there. Come on. Handsome boy. for Walter at the moment whilst he's still recovering from his injury I just thought I would show you the coat the outfit that I've got on today because when I first got here I was freezing and there's a massive hill down there that I've just walked up and now I'm boiling but look look at the size of this coat it's the best thing I've ever bought if you're a dog walker you have a dog I just feel like practicality over stylish makes a difference every time look <laughs> you can't you can't even see the bottom of it and then like this it's massive but it's so worth it and you can literally you could have your pajamas on underneath and no one would know so investment in a big coat for a dog walker and you'll be grateful I promise <laughs> are you ready to go back to the car yeah come on then good boy And I didn't actually realize I don't have any like autumn mugs this is probably like the most festive one I've got which is quite Christmassy so do you know what it's given me a reason to go into B&M or the range to find something with pumpkins on I just feel like everybody has one and I do not so I think I might do that tonight or at the weekend just go in and find something a bit more festive that I can probably use for like the rest of the month going into like November. I googled a few recipes for carrot cake in a loaf tin and I've decided to go with Jane's Patisserie purely because she just never lets you down like her recipes are fail proof every single time and I just find like the method that she writes it out and the ingredients that she uses are really just simple and easy to follow. Let's do it, shall we? So Walter is in the living room chilling whilst I am in here baking. I've started off by preheating the oven to 180 degrees and I've got my loaf tin and I choose to put these in it as well. Just, it saves time, it's so much quicker and you don't have to worry about like greasing the tin or nothing. You can just put one of these in and this they're cheap they're about one one pound like that in the loaf tin this is gonna be so worth it once you've made it how cute is this bowl that my auntie and uncle got me when i decided to take baking seriously in lockdown it says baked baked by frankie and i love it it's my little bowl so in the method, it says the first thing to do is to put into a bowl 175 ml of sunflower oil and three large eggs. I only have got medium eggs, so I'm going to put in about five more mils of vegetable oil, vegetable oil instead. Then it says to add 200 grams of light brown 
much I got. I picked up this one today in Audi. It's just softer and it sticks together more than your regular caster sugar. And we're just gonna mix that together and combine it in the bowl. You just want to make sure that there's no lumps of sugar clumped together and it's all just dissolved within the oil and the egg mixture. If you're wondering why you need brown sugar for this recipe, it's to create like a, a darker sponge rather than a, a light sponge like you'd see on a, a Victoria cake or a Madeira cake. So this will just give us like that golden colour that a carrot cake is famous for. So once that's all mixed together, we then need to add the grated carrots, raisins and nuts if you want them, and orange zest. So you need 200 grams of carrots. I don't bother peeling them because it's just good stuff on the outside, but I just stop when you get to the top, obviously. So this is really handy if you've got one because it just keeps it all inside. <laughs> carrot cake a lot because obviously it's got actual carrot in it but you know when it bakes right you just it's like it dissolves into the mix you can't you uh you can't taste it or feel it so we're on the home straight now we're gonna now put in 200 grams of self-raising flour Using my cute little measuring spoons my mum got me. They're in love heart shapes. One teaspoon of bicarb, but I don't have bicarb, so I'm using baking powder. Why are you not focusing? Teaspoon of that. Bosh. Two teaspoons of mixed spice. I feel like this is carrot cake in a freaking Oh, this is hard. Why isn't it coming out? We want one teaspoon of ginger and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And I don't have any nutmeg, but it's not the end of the world. So the cake has just come out of the oven after being in there for 55 minutes. I used um, a little tool that I've got to just check if there was any wet batter on it, but it was all fine. I'll show you what's in here. Um, this is the frosting that's gonna go on top. So I actually didn't have enough cream cheese, so I've only put 200 grams, and then I topped up 50 grams of it with creme fraiche that we had in the fridge. And then it had the ice and sugar, 125 grams of that and what else vanilla essence a teaspoon of that i'll put it all on the screen anyway so that's going to go on top and whilst the cake was baking I, I left this in the fridge just to harden up a bit so here we have the cake and i'll show you what i'm going to do now to decorate it so as i don't have any like carrot topping decorations put on top i'm just going to slice off like the part of the cake that's been raised and then what you can do is you can just crumble this on top so there's a bit of something on the cream cheese so I'll just put it in a bowl 
because you won't see this part anyway as it will be under the, the icing. I think that will do you know, I'm not going to get much more than that. So in my bowl I'm just going to crumble these parts together. The cake's still quite warm you see so you need to be careful when putting on the, the icing because you don't want it to um, go on the cake too hot because then it will melt and it will run down and so that's that that's in there let's finish decorating this cake it's taken long enough and i'm ready to eat it let's do it have it my version of the james patisserie carrot loaf cake i had a vision i made it happen <laughs> there's only one more thing left to cut it up and taste it <laughs> yes but babe, you can't have any i'm sorry really proud of that. I think it looks amazing. So we're just nipping out after we did a taste test of the carrot cake. I strongly give it a 10 out of 10. I thought it was faultless. I think like you could taste all the ingredients in there. It was just very festive. I could taste the cinnamon, the ginger. Just nipping out. It's getting dark. It's seven o'clock. So I thought I'd quickly vlog in the car to explain where we're going. So as I said before, I don't have a festive mug. I don't have an autumn mug. And I thought, you know what? I'll um, give a bit of substance to this vlog and we'll just nip to the range. So that is just what we're up to now. Kyle, I've got a question. Did you like the carrot cake? It was amazing. That's the best carrot cake I've ever tasted in my life. Are you serious? Don't say that because the no. camera here first get onto Jane's Petit's through website and get making that carrot cake it is really good to be fair I wish that um I could take my mum round a piece because she loves carrot cake and she would love she would love to try it anyways I'll see you in the range
change was unsuccessful and disappointing. It had like, had no autumn things in it whatsoever. Or bar a few like poxy decorations. Uh, mostly Christmas stuff. But yeah, we're gonna head to next now and see what they have. Bit of a disappointing trip out, nonetheless, it was nice to have a look. I didn't see anything that I wanted to get. There was a pumpkin bug that was quite cute, but I don't tend to go for the ones that are like the gold or the silver because you can't put them in the microwave. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that concludes our day. I am gonna go and have a shower and put a face mask on and we're gonna make a hot chocolate each and we are going to watch a film. I think we're gonna watch a film. We're gonna watch a film. We're gonna watch On that note, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this vlog and if you liked it, could you please give it a thumbs up and I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel, if you want to that is. I really enjoy making these videos and any excuse to make them, I absolutely love. I went onto my channel yesterday and I seen that one of my videos got nine views and I was like, oh my god, like nine strangers have viewed it. Um, and honestly, like no matter how many people it is, like the smallest amount, it just makes me feel grateful and just makes me like want to do more videos because hopefully people will enjoy watching them. And I'm learning still, I'm learning. I feel like I'm getting more confident every time. Um, I feel like I've just got more to say. I'm more natural in front of the camera, hopefully. And it would be nice for my personality to come across like the more that I do it the more you get to know me so yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you soon